Hi, my crafty friends. This is Lori, a girl from the Ridge. I have another junk journal. This is a vintage beach themed journal. I was inspired from um, junk journal junkies. Lori, just a girl from the Bay who's also on YouTube, along with Beth Whalen, Lucy's mom. Um, they were very, they did some journals this week that were very, very inspiring. And this is my take on it. This is a a yellow class envelope with one uh, pamphlet stitch, one signature. I did, it's green and blues and a little gold, some metallic paint along with Mod Podge. So it's a nice soft book. The front has some coffee stained paper along with some cheesecloth dipped in coffee. This is a Pinterest download. These are shells of um, a older paper I had had. I just fussy cut the shells off and just put it in. They're all glittery too. So that's my cover. And inside we have a double pocket. And these are the books that I made last week. With just the, uh, the cover of my favorite book. With just writing paper in it. So if I'm going to go to the beach, I'm going to bring one of these, the real book. And this is this pin Pinterest download. So um, this is a packet. This is a possibility embossing folder for my grand caliber. I just did a bunch of these tags and I distressed it with a pink and pink rose, Victorian rose and a peacock color. Regular paper. This is some packing paper, which is very thin. I really didn't like it, but I figured I dyed it. I may as well use it. It's not really, it didn't crispen up either, but it's okay. Here's a packet, another down uh, Pinterest download. Tags. This is from Ivy Shutter. She has a new download that Beth Whalen had showed, and it's just absolutely gorgeous. So thank you, Beth, for sharing. And this is a, just some packing paper. I think there were some cups or something in there. And a little burlap. This was one of my old stamps. I just fussy cut and made some tags. This is quirky. This is the eyelash trim that I, I dragged it through um, some distress ink because it reminded me of seaweed. So I have that throughout my book. A little packet with another Pinterest download. My crunchy paper. It's a doily. It's just a big tag. Another Pinterest. Paper. This is from a collection. I think it's Trinkle Garden. I used it the other night in a, a video. And this is also part of the collection. I have it on um, some old book paper with a thin piece of lace. You can see it. It just reminded me that she's looking out in the ocean. So there's a tuck there. This is a Pinterest download. These two girls are just too cute. I stuck that in there, covered this with, it's like a light green cheesecloth that I had dyed. This little pocket. These are from Pinterest. This is Ivy Shutters. This was a piece of the packing paper. I just crumpled it up and sprayed it with three different kind of inks, uh, alcohol inks that I made, just the blues and the purples. This is a packet with another Good Times tag with the seaweed. Another little, I made some little tags. These are all embossed. The folder. This was really pretty. This is the Ivy Shutters download and tags. I just love this. And here's another Pinterest download. This is a little envelope I made from the book with other little tags. Seashell from Pinterest. This is Tattered Angels. It's like a really gold glitter mist piece of vintage lace. Just some words that I had of just laying around. Angel, beautiful, precious. They were, I just left that alone so that would be the focal point of the page. 
just a little bit of stamping that reminded me of waves. Here's some more of the, I just tied some on a paper clip, the seaweedy. Here's just a really pretty Pinterest download with a little pink lace behind it, a little journal spot, follow your heart. This is one of the packets I made the other night. So there's actually three, three places to put stuff. Paper, another little packet. This is the Ivory Shutters Digi Kit. More paper. See, it just doesn't crunch. Doesn't have that crunch. This is Tattered Edges Spellbinders. And I also put them through the embossing folder. So there is five of them. You see them? I did them all in pinks and greens and blues. And here is just a piece of coffee dyed paper. I rolled it back, inked it up. This is cheesecloth, another little mermaid. Some plain paper, plain paper. Follow your heart. There's some another little tag paper. This was cool. This was I um I got dishes in it. It's a little pocket, and I just left this because I think I'm just going to put pictures in it. It's really, really just cool paper. And here's more of the thin paper that I just left plain. This is it's a little tuck, a little trifold that I sewed and sprayed blue glitter mist. Uh, white glassine bag with another embossed tag that's got pink and green and the seaweedy and then what do we got here it's a tag with journaling spots and we'll put them all back this is a little envelope nothing in it it's from the Ivory Shutters, Good Times tag, envelope that's also embossed with more writing paper, tag, that paper is so pretty, blank paper, two tucks, tuck, tuck, and then a, a tuck up here with another piece of paper. And a tag, a couple tags. I just matched the paper so it all pulls together. And a little tuck. There's an envelope that I embossed with another envelope coin, coin tag in here. And that goes into that. Just a little tuck spot, another little book I sewed with the lace, a little seam binding to tie it together. And there's a tuck here and a tuck there. This is an envelope that was a little too big, so I cut it down, re-glued it, put it through the bossing uh, uh, folder, inked it up with the greens and blues, and then I just put a matching tag in there with some... Just a simple index card on the back. A little tag. And then some washi tape and some blank spots. I'm doing good with the blank. And just a little tuck spot with the, actually the other part of the envelope. And some simple flowers. There's a little tuck spot. Actually, there's one two two three actually here and then in this little envelope is two more of my favorite books i got tucked away in there i love those books more paper more of the simple flower this is thin but it, it actually writes you can write good on it Two more envelopes I just embossed and colored. And there's my nice crinkly paper. 
and a pocket with no tag. Got to get a tag in there. It's really pretty. So just a little mermaid bath salts. I think it was just a Pinterest download with the seaweed. This envelope, more paper, paper, and one last pocket in the back. And I just got too big for pictures or journaling. And then just before I was filming this, I set this down in wet glue. So I have a couple spots here, but eh, I'll look at it tomorrow morning. If it still bothers me, then I'll do something. But they're not supposed to be perfect. So that's all for tonight. I hope you enjoyed it. Keep crafting. Bye.